So hi there, my name is Juan from Design for Ventures and today I'm going to show you something really cool here. Uh, we are going to make something like this hover activated SVG animations. How cool is that? As you can see these are this is my footer and these are the font awesome icons and this one is really looks a lot like this one. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can make uh, this uh, hover activated stuff with a couple of neat tricks. So first of all, how do you make this stuff? Yeah, let's do it like this. Uh, we need animated icons, and I have them here. What a coincidence! For example, we need an Instagram icon, and what is this? It is an Instagram icon. Awesome! You just do it like that, and then you can right click and save it somewhere. Yeah. So, we need two versions of, of the, this SVG animation. We want, we want one who is animating and one is who is still, for the still state. Yeah, so let's just duplicate this one. And we can call it uh -huh, dark gray still. And then that one can be just dark gray. Oh, awesome. Let's open both of them in uh, editor. And then we have the still one here, and this is the animated one. So, we can do this. The thing is, everything that is script is the animation itself. So we take that away. Boom. We save this. This is the still one, so save. It's all right, we are not trashing the animation. It's here. So now we have this one is not animating. Boom. And then we have this one, which is animating. I hope. Yes, it is. Awesome. So two versions. Yes. And this is looped infinite loop stuff yeah then what do we do next to do this in rapid weaver we need to do something like this uh, I mean this is one version so you have a sections pro stack and inside that you have a sections box with box ID 1 for example in that one you have the blueprint SVG stack and in there you paste the static icon code. Then you have sections box another one with box ID 2 and in here you have a blueprint SVG stack and in here you paste the animated code. And then you have some stuff down here that I have not been able to do yet because I'm lazy. So this is it. We have, and for sake of this uh, thing here, I'm going to. No, I cannot turn that off because so it's white right now. So yeah, this is stuff I had did done before. So if we do this from scratch, we take that away, that one away. So we're here we have sections pro stack and you have it's the parent stack then you have the one sections box with ID 1 then you have another sections box with ID 2 then we have two animate elements and you do them like this and you do animate elements so the first one animates this one and the second one animates this one so but before that we need to paste the code for the SVG and we go to the blueprint SVG stack there the awesome one so first one we want it to be static so we have the still one copy paste 
paste SVG code here. Boom. And then we will ha have the animation. We go here, we can alt drag this one, copy it. And then we need to change here. The animated one. So I, if we look at this, I don't know what what is going to happen. Yes, it is there. So we have two versions stacked upon each other here. So for sake of this, so we understand what we are doing, we I think we should change the color of this one so we know uh, which one we are talking about. So this one is the static one. Let's check it out. Static one. Ah, do you see? This is not what we want. The problem here is we made a copy, exact copy, of the animated one. And what we need to do is change the name of the path, the path ID of every path here. So if if you have the same what is going on here? Ah, like that. If you have the same name here, path ID, camera frame, as you have here, path ID, camera frame, of course, it, it thinks that it's this the same, of course, but it's not the same. We have two versions here. One is still and one is animated, so we need to change the name of all of the paths. So, path ID, camera frame, like that. Path ID camera lens version 2. Then, if you don't can't find it, you can just search path ID uh, stroke 1, 2, stroke 1, 2 there. Just change it to something else. And then we have ellipse also, this one, like that. So now we have. A total different version. It's the same illustration, but it's the, another code. So let's paste this thing in here, and we see something there. That's good. And the rest, let's reload this, and nothing should happen here. It works, and when I do this, it activates the animation, which is in the background, of course. So. This is really cool. So what, what I did here is I put an animate section box with ID one element and this one should uh, start with opacity 100% and if when you do hover start effect you, it should fade it out. It fades out this one and this one comes up. So, and the other one, this one, what happens is you start the effects at hover. Uh, I have chosen the filter to be opacity and it starts with nothing. So you don't see it from start. And then when you hover, it animates in. And I added an, a small, small amount of uh, scaling effect uh, here. We could take it away. We can just check it out. Let's see if we don't want the scaling effect. Uh, when I hover over this area, like that, boom, and when I take it away, it's like that. It's awesome. Ooh. So nice. And it's just a few steps. It's really easy. And then you can just implement this one uh, in here. And you have your really cool animated footer. That's all for me. Cheers.